Now I'm in central Washington at beautiful Frenchman Cooley, these stunning landscapes were created by what is known as the Missoula Floods. I'm meeting with geologist Nick Zentner to learn more about the floods and how they impacted Washington's landscape and agriculture. This is amazing. I grew up in Washington and I had no idea this was here. So Frenchman Cooley, mm -hmm. that's what this is called? That's what it's called. Okay, so what is it exactly? Well, it's really important geologically and there's selected places out in eastern Washington that have just incredible valleys and we call those coolies okay. and they were carved by the Ice Age floods. Nick says this specific coolie was formed from the Missoula floods. There was a lot of water in Montana in a, in a glacial lake called Glacial Lake Missoula and then that water burst quickly uh, through northern Idaho when there was an ice dam that broke and that water came right through here and other select spots in eastern Washington. And for many, many years, it was poorly understood how these big valleys formed. And this is famous. I mean, in geology circles, people know the channeled scab lands of eastern Washington around the world. What would the landscape look like if the floods had never happened? That's a good question because it's, it's, it has an imprint on the agriculture in eastern Washington, is that the rolling hills down in southeastern Washington mm -hmm. by Pullman, where you went to school. That used to be all of eastern Washington. So before the Ice Age, those rolling hills were across the entire, basically from the Rockies to the Cascades, oh. just rolling uh -huh. hills of, of good, uh, rich soil. And then these floods uh, really hit certain spots particularly hard, and those hills were swept away just like that. Some areas were left barren by the floods, while others benefited being enriched by new topsoil. The floods picked up the soils and then redeposited them downstream when the water stopped. So the Pasco Basin, for instance, down by the Tri-Cities, there's good soils there because the soils were picked up here and then dropped down there. Now there's a name for these columns, right? The climbers call them the feathers. Oh, really? Um, otherwise, in ge geology terms. Well, we do call them, uh, it's columnar basalt. Columnar basalt. Right, so as the lava cooled, it formed these cracks, and those, those are columns that formed from uh, the, the, the cooling of the lava 15 million years ago. And it's kind of crazy that the, the floods took all those columns away except for one little row, one little picket fence. It's just, it's just, it's just as open That's on the other call side. It the picket fence. Hey, I think we just did something yeah. here. Let's get that on the map. I think so.